Hello, welcome back. I know I've been gone for a while and I'm sorry. It's been craziness at work and stuff. And so I did that video for you where I showed you everything and it was a damn disaster. I'm sorry, I didn't realize until after I was watching it that I was like, wow, I really suck with like holding a camera and opening things and it's way harder than it looks. Anyway, so today I'm gonna do something kind of boring because my friend Savannah's coming over and she's going to have me model some clothes for her because she is opening up her own clothing line. And so she's launching her website on the first, which is Wednesday, I think. So she has some clothes for me to wear, so I'm excited. That's why my hair's up in a bun, is I sprayed, what is it? Oh, I'm hot already. Um, Hawaii hair care. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but it's like wave spray and it's really nice. So I spray it in my hair and then bunch it up and then put it in a bun while I'm doing my makeup. So today we get to do my whole face because I'm not at work. Tomorrow I'm at work. So I'll do less tomorrow, but today I can do my face. Let's see. I kind of planned out what I wanted to play with, but not a whole lot. I think especially because it's hot out, it's hard to figure out what I want. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm tired. I slept forever. So we're gonna start with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This one is good for if you want your makeup to stay. And it's hot. I don't know what it's supposed to be today. I don't know if it's supposed to be in the hundreds. I'm sure it is. And I want my makeup to stay for this photo shoot. I'm not exactly sure where she wants me to take these photos, if we're doing it at my house or if she wants to go somewhere. But we're also gonna go thrifting because her whole thing is she wants to do like upcycled clothing. So we're gonna go to thrift stores and I told her I want, you know, clothes that'll fit like me and bigger because I wear a 1X. And a lot of the cute stuff she has is like small and medium. And I was like, that's not fair. Us big girls want cute stuff too. And she said, it's really hard to find like cute big girl stuff. And I said, yeah, I know. Welcome to my life. So today we're gonna go thrifting and I'm gonna find some stuff. So for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way. As you can see, I've used almost all of it up. I have some more um, in my backup drawer that I need to use. I was like, I don't know if it's going bad or what, but it's much more liquidy. Hi, Jack. I don't know if you can see, nope, you can't see him yet. Jack, say hi to the people. This is my big floof, as we call him. Let's see if I can get him for you. There he is. Jack, what's all that? You see yourself? Look at how cute you are. Um, he really likes to sit with me while I do my makeup. And this is actually the first time I've seen him while I've been filming. Oh, now he's gonna leave. Um, but I left my door open because my dog Alex is home with me. And if I don't leave the door open and he can't hear me or find me, he'll freak out. And I don't trust him. Like, I don't even trust that he's out there. I don't know what he's doing. I'm assuming he's laying on the couch but he gets really anxious, so I get worried that he's like tearing something up or being mischievous. Alex, come here, baby. Alex. I don't hear him. Oh, there he is. Alex, come lay down, baby. What are you doing? I don't know if you could see him walk in, my big old boy. Hi, say hi. You're so cute. I just don't trust him. He's probably in the cat room eating cat turds or something. Oh, and those of you that are new, sorry. Um, I did wet my beauty sponge, you're welcome. Um, and as you see, I'm just smacking my face with it and talking, so. Now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Mostly under my eyes, but I do have a lot of redness. So I do it on my face, my chin. I have freckles, so on my nose. And then my forehead, because I've seen a lot of beauty gurus do that. I'm assuming it's because it's like putting light like across your face and not just in one area, but whatever. For me, mostly it's covering up my redness and my dark, dark circles. Alex, where you at? I don't trust you. Come here. Lay down, baby. So I don't know what outfit Savannah is bringing me. I have no idea. She says she has two pants and two tops, but she didn't tell me colors. 
And so I'm just gonna do really boring, like neutral eyes today, which I know a lot of you will appreciate because my color is too much for some of you. I do that at work because I like to match my scrubs. But today I don't know what I'm wearing, so we're just kinda gonna do some like bronzy colors and make it real neutral and boring. Sorry, I keep opening these drawers because I keep forgetting stuff. Like I forgot a lower eyeliner, I forgot an eyebrow pencil. I'm not perfect, okay? Next, Too Faced, what do you call Born This Way Ethereal Powder. So fancy with their big words. So we're gonna use this all over our face. And my skin's dry, so I'm not gonna use a ton of it. That's about it. And then dust that shit in. Dusted. I'm gonna keep some of my cap because I guarantee I'm gonna screw up my contour because I do every time. So we're gonna draw in our eyebrows. I still grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed eyeliner instead of my eyebrow thing. It's in the wrong drawer. I have a new mascara to test out with you on camera. I've already tested it and it's not bad. Spoiler alert, but it's not my favorite, but I will show you anyway because some of you are asking for drugstore stuff This by the way is drugstore the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade ash brown I use this on my eyebrows. It's just as good as the Anastasia brow thing And it's way cheaper. It's like seven dollars and NYX always has sales like right now Ulta is doing like a really crazy sale Let me know if you're gonna pick anything up I'm thinking about the um, Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. Like the, there's one that's like a green and then there's one that has like oranges. And I think I want those, but I read the reviews and they're both really, they're both. Um, all the reviews pretty much say like, it's okay, but I wouldn't waste your money. But I'm like, they're on sale and I wanna try them. So I'll see. So if you've used one of those and you're like, no, really, don't waste your money, let me know. Because there's really not that many reviews on there for them. And then there's also these, I've never tried anything from I Heart Revolution or Makeup Revolution, I think. One of them, they're both the same company, I think. But I've never used anything from them, so I want to see if their stuff's any good. So I want to order a couple palettes. I'm looking a little dry, so I'm going to... Pat the powder in with my wet sponge. And then today, for eyeshadow, we're gonna do my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This one is broken. I need to glue the mirror back in. I haven't even had this this long. Um, but yeah, it's got some purples, but it's got mostly neutrals and like golds. If I could get it to, there we go. Um, so it's got mostly like neutral colors. I'm just gonna do like a brown and gold. It's nothing fancy. So I'm gonna take the shade Incense. Let me get this brush out of here so I don't fling it. It's this third shade on the bottom right here. It's really boring, really brown. So we're gonna use that. So I don't wanna ruin Savannah's artistic creations or whatever. Like I don't know what she's gonna put me in. I'm kinda scared. She said one of the pants, I think it's a 2X, so she might have to pin it to fit me. It just depends because some clothes, you know, like, you're like, oh, yeah, I wear a medium, but a large also fits or vice versa. You're like, oh, I wear a small, but an extra small fits. It just depends on the clothing and the brand and all that. So we'll see. If you guys are interested in seeing the pictures when they're done, I'll tag my Instagram down below because I'm sure she will post them all over Instagram and you can see them. Also, I don't have that many subscribers. There's only 18 of you. So can you tell your friends or something? Because I'd like to just sit here and make money. I don't want to go to work. Like I work this week, my three days, and then my husband and I are going to Colorado for his birthday. And I'd like to just be able to be like, oh, let me film two videos and then go to, you know, 
be able to go out of town, but no, you guys haven't made that happen yet. Okay, so brown, both eyes. And then, I think we're gonna do Dreamer because it's just kind of calling to me. Eh, I was looking for a brush, but who are we kidding? I'm just gonna use my finger anyway. It's this um, real bright shade right here, Dreamer. Maybe, I don't know if that's better or worse. This one right here, it's pretty. It's like a gold shimmery color, but it's like a real champagne gold. It's not like true gold. And we're just gonna pat that on. Both eyes, and now I'm flipping you off, sorry. I should've used a different finger. And then blend, blend, blend. And then you take your big fluffy brush and you blend all that in. And as you see, I have hooded eyelids, which means my eyebrow bone skin stuff goes over my eyelid so unless I put it really high up you don't even see it so that's why I have to raise my eyebrows to even put eyeshadow on because my eyes are so hooded so if you have the same eye shape do what I do if you don't you're gonna have to figure it out on your own sorry like I don't know how to do it without putting it way high up on my brow bone otherwise you can't see it oh so while I was at Ulta I was gonna do a haul for you guys and I totally forgot. But I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I got the Pacifica micellar water that I'm gonna use as soon as these are out. Um, I have this one, but I have a whole full one of this because I bought them on sale. I got like a mega size before I realized they weren't cruelty free. So now I gotta use all this up and then I wanna use the Pacifica and see if it's any good. I might you know, use them interchangeably. But the Pacifica is cruelty free if you wanted a cruelty free version like I did. Okay, now that I have some on my, some eyeshadow on my eyelids, I'm going to spray a brush and pack a little more on there. I just like to use my finger first. I think it works the best. And then you can use a brush to like really get in there if you need to and like pack more on. now I've got it everywhere so oh I have this cute little thing it has it looks like a lily pad thing and it holds your q-tips and I got it on Amazon I think it was like three or four dollars and it's super cute um, it was in my vanity tour video just in case you guys saw it and were like wow that was really cute yeah Amazon pretty much all the stuff on my vanity is from Amazon except for this brush thing this I think I got at Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something, and it's pretty cute. It doesn't match the rest of my stuff, like everything else is acrylic, but I, it works and it's fine. Just cleaning up my mess. And now I'm gonna pat my concealer back down because I probably moved it. All right, now we're gonna try not to mess up our eyeliner. Well, first I have my waterline eyeliner this is urban decay glide on eye pencil and it's waterproof what shade are you this is lung de ray no that's not it that means waterproof in some other language i just read the wrong thing starfire is the name of it and then pull your eyelid down and get all up in there my husband hates this part so this one i'm using it's like a orangey color i think it's a little more fun i was just gonna put like a like a gold, but I thought this would be fun. After I poke myself in the eye, that's what fun is. Okay, so you know it, my epic ink liner for my Mean Girl wing. So Savannah might not like that I'm putting a wing on because I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't know if she'll want that for her pictures, but I don't care. I'm like, I'll do a subtle wing, I promise. Savannah, don't hit me. See, subtle, comparatively. I'm like, this is really subtle compared to what I do to go to work. Like, this is like minimal makeup.
I hear one of the cats crying. I don't know if you could hear it in the video. I don't know what's happening. Well, this one's much higher, so now we have this one higher. There we go. Well, Savannah, they were gonna be really, really like toned down, but then one got thicker than the other. You know how it is. You do makeup if you're even watching this. If you're not, then don't worry about it. Make a stupid face and get all this out from underneath your eyeball. There we go. Okay, so the mascara I was gonna tell you guys about that I picked up is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash. Oh my God, False Lash Effect Mascara. It's the one in the green tube. It was like $3.99, I think. So it has a wand that I'm not super in love with. I tend to like, eh, there we go. I tend to like uh, bigger wands. Like, uh, let me give you a good example. There's that one. And this is my favorite mascara of all time. It's the Damn Girl by Too Faced. And you see it's just like thick. Oh my God, I can't get it together. It's like thick and it's got like an hourglass shape to it, kind of like me. So I like this one. But we're gonna try this one because it's like five dollars and you guys said you want to try drugstore stuff so let's go so i'm gonna go real close to my lashes one thing i don't like about like i don't want to say drugstore mascaras because it's not always drugstore but some of them are just too like they make your eyelashes really spidery and i hate that like i want long eyelashes but i don't want it to look like there's a spider on my face and if you don't like wet mascaras, don't use this because it's really wet. It feels like, it's almost like the consistency of the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex, like that wet consistency. But this is way wetter and I don't like the brush as much. Is it an okay mascara? Yeah. If you want like really long eyelashes, you'll really like this. But to me, it's too wet and it doesn't separate them the way I want it to. Like they kind of clump together, which I don't, I'm not a fan of. So I'm actually gonna go in with another mascara and fix it. <laughs> but as far as like length, my eyelashes are way longer than they were when we started, which is cool, but I don't like the clumpy. And it kind of gets everywhere, which is partially my fault, but I think it's because it's so wet. So like I have to fix my eyeshadow now because I have some on the top of my left eyelid. I don't know if you can see it or not from this angle. You're as close as you can possibly be with the tripod. But I'm gonna fix it with the Bad Gal Bang mascara. Again, this is not cruelty free, so don't buy from them. I got it for like a birthday thing at Ulta, so that's the only reason why I'm using it. And because of the brush, Come on, there we go. Um, the bristles are really, really short, so it like separates really well, which is what I like about this. So I'm just gonna use the brush to separate the lashes that the other mascara made all clumpy. I'm like, Savannah knows, my best friend, she knows like I can't stand clumpy mascara. And she wears um, false lashes all the time, so she's like, just wear false lashes. And I'm like, I would, but I like my, gl my black glue and then it sticks forever, it's just a shame. I just can't. And then people tell me, oh, get lash extensions. I'm like, yeah, I don't want somebody that close to my eyeball right now. Probably ever, but right now. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell, but like my left eye, especially my top lashes, I'm like, I hate them right now. They're not cooperating. So I'm gonna try to fix it with my damn girl. They're like sticking together again. And I just, I really don't like that mascara. You can use it on top of another mascara. Sorry, there's a cat down here. I'm trying to figure out which one. Oh, it's Jack, my floofy orange one. Um, yeah, if you can like separate them, it's fine, but I'm having a hard time like separating them and then they're just looking really clumpy and I'm not a fan, so. There we go. That's about as good as they're gonna get because if I keep messing with it, I'm gonna make it worse. Kind of like eyeliner. If you don't just leave it alone, it's gonna get worse. Sorry about my dead flowers in the background, as well as my scrubs for when I work next. I work tomorrow. I work on a different unit than I normally do, so I'm kind of worried about it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and I keep forgetting to take my dead flowers out of there, so you get to look at those, sorry. Well, my eyes are done. I covered up the mascara that this one screwed up. Um, 
I'm gonna use a little powder that I have in my little dish here, my lid, and I'm gonna put it under my eyes because I'm feeling some coverage going away. Oh shit, what did I do? I just fucked something up, hold on. Hold up. I think I just like bent my, yep, bent my eyelashes down. Good job, Lisa. Now they look even worse than they did before. <laughs> this is a disaster. Well, I'm gonna go back in with the bad gal bang and try to fix them. This is just a goddamn mess. I'm supposed to be like modeling for my friend and now I look like a goddamn disaster. No one's gonna see her clothes, they're just gonna see my sad eyelashes if I don't fix them. Okay, crisis averted. They were literally crooked and tilted down. Because <laughs> I smacked myself in the face with my sponge trying to fix my no coverage underneath my eyeballs. So I'm gonna do that again on this side and not smack myself in the face. There we go, that's better. So I'm gonna use my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This one is so pretty, I really, really like this. So it has contours, blush, and highlighter. Sorry, I'm trying to turn the lights off, there we go. So contour, blush, highlighter. I'm actually gonna use a mixture of the two contour shades, oh, wrong way, on the side, and then I don't have a blush, so I guess I'm gonna mix those two blushes together. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Peach Goddess by Jeffree Star. This stuff is incredible. As you can see, I've like majorly hit pan on it. And I'm gonna swatch it for you. If you've never used a Jeffree Star highlighter, you don't know what you're missing out on because look at that. Like, holy crap. And this is without the light. Like, oh. Maybe. There we go. Oh. So I'm gonna put that on my face. It's gonna be really nice. So. I was like, now I gotta take it off with my micellar water. But oh, there you go. Now you can see, like, it's really, really glowy. And I like this formula better than this formula. These are his Supreme Frost. And these are okay. I just think that they're too glittery. Like, I want, like, straight up pigment. And I feel like the glittery ones, like, he says, oh, you know, they. You can see be seen from like a mile away, which is what I love. And it's just not true. They don't last as long. I think if I put this one on, it's gonna be on all day. Especially if I wear it to work. That's why it has such a big pan in it. Cause I think this was like my first really good highlighter that I like. So I wore it all the time. Anyway, let me stop ranting about the three stars. I love this stuff. Blushes, okay. So this is also Jeffree Star and Morphe. It's his contour brush. And I like it because it's small so it can get right in your cheekbone. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of both of these. Make myself look like a fish. And blend. So this you do to give yourself cheekbones if you don't have any like myself. Cause I have a really round face if you haven't noticed by staring at me this entire time. So this, it makes your cheekbones look a little sunken in so you look like you have them. If you go a little too crazy, don't worry. That's what you got your powder for, remember? Lid powder, you gotta keep it. And I was really thinking right now, I was like, wow, I really wanna wear a matte lipstick. I haven't worn a matte lipstick in forever. And then I realized that we're gonna go out and I'm gonna be wearing a mask and then it's gonna be all over my face. So gloss again. So we'll switch to the other side. And that's what's really bothersome about this whole pandemic is that I can't wear matte lipstick. Not that the people are dying or, that it's like a global problem, but because I can't wear matte lipstick because it stains my mask and it gets everywhere, it's a problem. First world problem. So, as you can see, I now have cheekbones. And if you were offended by anything I was saying, you don't know me well enough because I'm joking. I'm a nurse. If you couldn't tell by the scrubs behind me, I have to go work on a unit with even more COVID patients than my unit has. Um, for those of you that don't know, I work at the prison. I'm not a real nurse at the hospital or whatever, but I'm a registered nurse at the prison. So we take care of people with even less supplies. <laughs> so it'll be fun. But anyway, so I'm making my cheekbones exist. So now that we have cheekbones, we're going to put blush on them. So I'm going to mix both of these colors again. It's like a really pretty pink and like a purpley color. I think they're so pretty. I really like this palette. I take this when I travel a lot because I think it's gorgeous. 
and it has everything you need so you don't even need to bring a highlighter it's right here and like we're going out of town next week and I'm probably gonna take this because I really like it and then you make your blush match your contour otherwise you have like a line between your blush and your contour and I just like to blend it all together oh I see a tail who is it hi Jack come here come here Fluff. there he is what a good boy it wouldn't be a Lisa tutorial without a cat so then you continue blending and then remember that powder that's what we're going to use to clean up our cheekbones. So you dip some in your sponge. Hi, Jack. Just like that. And you're going to let it sit there while you do your highlight. Highlight brush. This one is from Luxie. It's from a BoxyCharm. I don't buy brushes from Luxie because that sounds way too expensive. And we're just gonna dust in our highlighter pan with our giant pan in the middle. Oh, sorry, I'm blinding you. Um, but yeah, there's a giant pan in there, and then pew. And as you can see, it's like crazy, crazy pigmented. And if you don't like crazy pigmented highlighters, don't wear this. As you can see by the swatch, it's like super blinding. And I like you to be able to see me, but not everybody does. And that's okay, we all have different preferences, but especially because my eyes are boring. I want a really pretty contour, or contour, highlighter. He laid down and started purring and I haven't even touched him yet. Like now I'm giving him scritchums, but I wasn't before. You're so cute, what are you doing? You wanna hang out with mom? I'm gonna dust away that powder. I'm gonna take my hair out. And besides my pajamas, I now look like a girl. You're welcome. This is how you look like a girl and trick people into marrying you. It's like, how do you think I got my husband in this giant ring on my finger? I had to trick him. Okay, there we go. And then I don't know if she'll let me wear this or not. I'm just wearing it till she gets here because I can't stand hair in my face. That's why it's always up. But I'm gonna take this super cute little hair clip thing. It's a bow and twist my hair back a little and clip it on up out of my face. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, I'll get a bobby pin, but it's really cute, so I like the bow. Oh, and I almost forgot lips. So, hi. I have a ton of lip glosses right now because of the, like, you know, inability to wear matte lipsticks, which I have a ton of, if you saw my vanity thing. If you haven't, you should go see it, it's pretty funny because it's really bad. <laughs> so I have these colors and because I'm wearing something super boring, I kind of want to wear a fun color, but I'm worried Savannah will hit me. So I'm just gonna go with Bit of Honey, which is like super boring. It's just like a pretty beige shade. Then I'm gonna drop the rest of these so you don't have to watch me fiddle with them. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Bit of Honey. Um, I've talked about these before, these are really good. Right now they're on sale, they're like $3.50 and they're normally five bucks. I want more shades because they're really nice. They're not sticky. They fade away nicely, like they don't get all over everything, which I appreciate. And they're cheap. And you're all set. So now you look like a girl. And now I have to clean all this mess up, as well as move my giant cat off all of my makeup. But I appreciate you guys sitting here and watching this with me. And if you have any ideas, you wanna see something, let me know. So have a great, what day is it? Have a great Monday. Bye.